Welcome to this video where I'll be introducing you to your new custom vestibule side awning and walking you through the steps to set it up. Let's start by looking at what's included in your awning kit. First, there are two awning rails. These are about six feet long and are installed on either side of your trailer above the doors and just below the roof edge trim. There's the awning itself. There's a hoop pole, which is the smaller diameter pole. And then there's two adjustable poles, which end up supporting the outside edge of the awning. There's also two ground stakes and two 15-foot guy lines. The first step will be to slide the awning into the awning rail. The rope bead, which is what slides into that rail, is exposed when the awning is rolled up. Orient to the awning so that the shiny side of the fabric is facing up. Slide it in from the front to the back, and when you're done, just make sure that it's roughly uh, centered in the rail so that there's about the same amount of exposed rail. Now release the shock cord loops from the toggles along the length of the awning and then unroll it. Because you'll need to firmly grip, flex, and slide the hoop pole through your hands during setup, we recommend wearing light gloves to avoid the risk of it slipping or any skin irritation that may occur. These poles are made of fiberglass and can cause some irritation. Now you'll need your hoop pole. Assemble about two-thirds of the length of the pole and bring one end of it with both hands holding the outside edge of the awning. Slide that tip through a small sleeve that's in the center along that outside edge. Slide it through about five feet or so and work your way around to the front side of the awning. There's another sleeve both on the front and the back about two and a half, three feet long. You're going to slide the tip into that sleeve now, push it through. When you get to the trailer, take a moment just to move it up above the edge of the trailer sidewall and then slide it through about five feet. This will allow you to have some uh, room as you work your way around the other side to do the same over there. Moving to the back side of the awning, Again, you'll take that tip. This time you'll be flexing the pole in order to make the arc that allows you to come back to the sleeve on that back edge. Slide that in until you get to the edge of the trailer. Back on the front of the awning, slide that extra length of pole that we had pushed through the sleeve out over the windshield area back through until the tip of the pole is just sticking out of the sleeve. At this point, you want to get the tip of that pole into the rail. You're going to do that by holding the tip with your left hand, flexing it with your right hand by pushing it out and sliding it in to that opening. On the back side, same thing. Switching your hands, hold it with your right hand up front, push the pole away from you to flex it and slide that tip into the rail. The last step will be to put your outside poles into position to support that outside edge and provide some tension to the awning panel. So take the tip of that pole, insert it into a grommet in the corner, stand it up vertically, and secure your guy line. I took a shortcut and positioned this ahead of time. You'd be doing it uh, as you went and may have to adjust your poles and guy lines. On the other side, the same thing. Make sure you kind of keep a hand on the awning, especially if there's a breeze, which there was this day, um, so that it doesn't blow up, flop over the trailer. Hold it, get the pole in position. Again, tip through the grommet, guy line over the tip, and you're done. With the awning installed, there's clearance to open the door and secure it in a fully open position. The outside edge of the awning at 76 inches can be adjusted upward with the adjustable poles, but makes for a comfortable approach and entry into the trailer. To take down your awning, remove the guy lines and the outside poles, and then move around to the front edge of the awning. What we'll do next is release the tip of the hoop pole from the awning rail. Do this by again controlling with your 
hand nearest the trailer, the tip of the pole, and with your other hand, push it away from you to flex the pole and get the tip out of the rail. Now just push some of the pole length out over the windshield area of the trailer so that it's free to move as you slide the pole out of the sleeves from the back side. On the back side, the same thing. You're going to release that tip from the awning rail and then begin to slide it out through that sleeve. As you do that, I want you to be careful to control the back uh, end of that tip as it's moving and gets out of the end of the sleeve. The, there's tension in that pole because it's bent and you want to just have a good grip on it so that it doesn't snap out. And pack things up.